Hello viewers, and welcome back to our Let's Play of Attila Total War. Um, continuing off where we had left off, it, you know, I, I actually recorded one episode too. Unfortunately, uh, the game crashed before I could uh, before I could do anything, which which really sucks. Um, anyhow, last time we f we, we raised uh, the city next to the Tempests to the ground over here, and uh, we're starting to build up some infrastructure there, so that's good, and we also have two R me sitting out of uh, Arnmar over here. Um, so what these? I think it's time to launch that attack now. And uh, well, we already have one set of uh, ladders. So you know what? We can uh, yeah simply fight this battle and get things uh, moving forward. We're actually now. You know what? What I did was that I waited one turn to launch an attack. And uh, with that said, I think we'll just replicate the same movements. So. Yeah, one of the things about the, uh, the the Huns over here is that they're not necessarily all too great at sieging, just simply because, I mean, their units are focused on cavalry, and of course, with cavalry, uh, you just simply don't get enough manpower to truly, truly uh, muscle up those sieges as... Uh, as, as you can inside some of the other um, factions with, you know, tons and tons of heavy infantry. Gold is so let's a see. From the gods to all involved. Yeah, these, uh, these Bundians, they want a defensive alliance with us. If they're willing to take that for without a payment, I'm fine with that. Oh, actually, can I, can I not cancel that? Yeah, there we go. All we ask is a small amount of wealth. Yeah, so we can join in, or we can get a defensive alliance with them just like that. I, I honestly don't know if they accepted it there, where they counter-proposed with uh, joining this war here. But we'll go with it, and we'll let them uh, do their thing. Right, so let's see. So, turn number three, the Tempests should be out. They should be still building up that, uh, that, se that settlement of theirs. And in the meantime, let's get uh, let's get our guys to start climbing into Arnmar, mucking them up. So there, let's see, Children of the Larch bring in tons and tons of step uh, step spearmen. Well, and from their side, they're defending with their German of spearmen, a few of those axe armed and some archers and the such like that. So let's see, uh, bo -bo -bo. let's actually start off with, yeah, some very, very foggy weather. Oh, I didn't mean to open that. All right. So what we're going to do here is that we're going to get where we we're going to set the uh, the archers to fire heavy uh, heavy shots. These are going to cause yeah more damage, and it'll be a lot more uh, it'll be a lot more consistent against their shields. Since we made a ton of those uh, ladders, we yeah we have a we have a surplus of those ladders, which is quite nice. And now we're going to deploy it just like this. Hopefully the. Uh, Hopefully the fog will reduce their accuracy. Our reinforcements have arrived. And we're gonna send in the uh, Huns line of towers here of ladders. We'll try to breach this wall wherever we can, and get our spearmen upwards. My oh my, that is just absolutely beautiful. Now the nice thing about these ladders too, and like we've 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 known this since uh, Realm Total War, uh, too. But they they block the arrows, which is quite uh, quite useful. But mind you, they have one one catapult back there, and uh, those things can really mess up the siege ladders. In the meantime, so long as their archers are directly in front of us, these ladders should be able to hold them off for a long enough period of time to get 
the vast majority of our guys up and on those walls. So now that the ladders are uh, are up and going, those ladders will hopefully stomach the vast majority of the losses. Let's get the second line. Let's get the horses uh, in there with loose spacing so that they take less losses from archers. And let's move these guys, or let's move the ho the cavalry in to provide some support. That is just absolutely wonderful. The enemy approaches. And yeah, those heavy bolts really wreck things, provided that they hit inside this situation. I mean, they have a slow reload, but every projectile that hits is uh, is worth it ten times over than what uh, what you what we usually have. Ooh, people after them just walk through the flames. Wow. Weapons and are fleeing. Yikes. Yeah, the cavalry will take a lot of hits in this, too. And let's see. Yeah, unfortunately, the walls do provide quite a lot of defense, though. Uh, from our bolts. Our siege equipment has been destroyed. It's alright. Uh, they have backup siege, uh, siege equipment pieces here and there. Looks like they, yeah, they took down another one of our siege ladders. And what it might honestly be better if I if I move the uh, the archery line back, perhaps. The men are broken and are fleeing. That might give them more um, more chances to successfully shoot into the. Uh, the lions over there. Anyhow, now that that is done, uh, the other wave of cavalry comes around. We'll get the uh, the the cavalry over here to rendezvous with uh, with our main force. And I'm gonna camp out the infantry because if we can if we can sneak enough troops through, we can open up one of these back gates and let the vast uh, majority of our main guys in. And our, uh, our our spearmen are actually holding the line, so this is good. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Or at least some of them are holding up. I'm guessing they're uh, they're breaking on the on the enemy light axes. Those uh, those people. I don't think our infantry can take on by themselves. We still have ladders. We still have room on the ladders. So let's get our guys to uh, really push through here. Enemy units have returned to the battle. The men have thrown down their weapons and are fleeing. There we go. Our men have given up and are running for their lives. The 
men have broken and are fleeing! This is going to be quite the Pyrrhic victory. Our our troops are really uh, getting getting uh, destroyed by those things. The enemy has obliterated an entire unit. Right, they are really really short on. Uh, They're really short on troops, just like we are up here. So I really hope that the last of... Uh, ...or cavalry up here can hold. Let's do this raised banner command, get them uh, some more defense. And there we go. Their forces are starting to break now. Unit. The enemy refuses to admit defeat. Their unit has rallied. Gates are obliterated. Let's just see what is left of the... Yeah, it looks like it's just one brigade or one unit right there. Once that's gone, everything else should be fine. And would you look at that? We didn't really need the, uh, the rest of the forces right over there too. Troops have reached the walls. And there we go, so a bit of a pur there. Yeah, we lost. What an even battle there. But overall, uh, these siege battles will be more or less um, the areas where we'll have some problems on. But afterwards, I think it'll be worthwhile and taken over. So let's see the losses. Yeah, we may, we lost a lot of cavalry units climbing up the walls there. Um, afterwards, we can raise these settlements. And that'll constitute uh, a little bit of gross growth on uh, our settlements part here. So uh, that'll be that. So now children a little large over here will have to wait a while before they can do anything. Um, oh, and they were—they were, they didn't actually have any skills at the time too, so that makes it 
even more impressive. Anyhow, we'll, we'll open up the, 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 the skill tree for them this episode. And what I think I'll do here is that I'll get the Blood Raiders to move towards the north. And then we'll get Children of the Large to pull back and uh, camp for now. Tempests are still building things. I'm not really sure if you can move them while they're uh, building things, though. But I, I, I'm not going to risk it, so I think I'll let them do that. And off to the next turn we go. We need the glory of battle. Ooh, what is this? The challenger, subject, Rivia, one of the younger warriors has been bragging that his that his methods are the best. Um, engage in faction politics to deal with your subject. We'll wait until this stately business has blown over. Okay. So that is quite intriguing. And what is over here? Persian brigades are starting to show up here. So light melee infantry and the such. This is... It's not a... It's not a mobile force. It's, uh, yeah. It's just a one unit type of thing. Huh. Well, that is interesting. Um, either way, I think we'll just settle these guys down, get the children of the larch healed back up. Um, so with that said, oh, that's right, you have to be in a uh, unit view to recruit. Uh, we'll try to bolster their numbers once again. And you know what? Honestly, the step infantry, it it's not bad from the looks of it. I mean, it's not by, by no means is it great. <laughs> but uh, at this rate, repairing our, uh, our, our infantry lines is going to take a long, long time. So let's get that done uh, over here. You know what? The Blood Raiders might as well camp down as well. And we will. We have a lot of cash, so it doesn't really matter all too much. We're going to give them some more Hunnic Spears as well. And there we go, we succeeded in our mission. So, um, looks like we researched, uh, what is it called? Bo -bo -bo. We, we had researched um, army drills. So we finished that off and that opens up the rest of the tech tree here. Um, in the meantime, we get a, yeah, we get that tech bonus, which is quite nice. And I think we'll do wagon lager so that we, uh, so we get some more replenishment. And I'm under the impression that we'll take quite a lot of losses um, inside the future. So that'll be very, very helpful. In the meantime, let's get the Blood Raiders with their uh, newly, you know, founded pack of infantry to march over here. And we'll see what, we, what they can do about uh, raiding over there. And now the Tempests, the, pen, the, temp, the, pen, the Tempests are done doing their thing. So let's put them in that uh, mass migration mode. Uh, because we don't necessarily need them to go anywhere else. And, oh, would you look at this. Tennis has been... Uh, recolonized by some people over here. It doesn't have a lot of wealth, so that's not really something that we're interested in. Um, but I did not know that. Uh, you can resettle these areas, but that is that is very intri intriguing. So with that said, and oh, would you look at that? Our, uh, our allies here have uh, retaken Armar. All right, well, we'll continue going. Uh, let's see, where should we go? I think we'll continue going down and around over here, sacking the villages as we go. And that'll be that. And oh, that's right, there's this uh, subjects thing going on. So we have Kespar and Vivia. Let's see what this is. Um, the challenger, one the, yeah, so this is this guy. We can let him speak. We can silence him, we can kill him, or we can employ him. Um, in this case, I think we will employ him. 
And we also have Kaspar over here, Noble seeking favor or favor, giving us a rig of uh, fine colts to do as we wish. Uh, so we can we can use them for quite a few things. So let's uh, let's sell them and let's try and see what that helps out with that. Um, so going forwards from there, let's see if we can install anyone to any of these uh, positions. So we can hopefully put some people into this Tread Rider um, office. So this gives them um, cheaper cheaper recruitment and higher um, unit experience. Hmm. I'd prefer to put them in some of these positions instead. So I think I'll wait a while. Um, so that'll be that. And in the meantime, let's see. So the rating continues. And we might as well, we might want to uh, start sacking a few of these places soon enough. So we'll see what we can do there. Alright, well, let's see what we can do. So this army right here doesn't seem to be all too strong. It's a walled settlement, and we can take a look at uh, some of the information about this area. Hmm. Well, that area... It's decently wealthy. We could try to uh, plunder it. We are at war with these people, so let's let's get the uh, stance in here, we take this settlement for the tribe. and let's launch another uh, sea share. Not we'll get the ladders the set up, and with that it should be another settlement down. And now over here, with children of the large, we've uh, we've recruited a large amount of these spearmen here once more, once again. Hmm. And you know what? With this group of uh, troops, we're going to send this down to uh, Leopolis. So we'll get uh, some movement going on into that direction. Oh, this guy leveled up. And for Charlton, he leads... Uh, bu -bu -bu, I don't believe... Or, yeah, he leads the middle band right here. Um, let's get him some some skills in melee attack let's make him the vanguard so he also gets a movement range bonus well Ah, and Dave decided to meet us. Armar is coming out here with, let's see, their traditional group of guys. Well, um, I think we will fight this battle. Um, but I think we'll save that to episode 3. And, uh, well, we'll hope to see you guys there, I guess. Bye-bye for now.